Hello, beautiful souls. Elena is here, your art therapist, hypnotherapist, and crystal healer. And I'm here tonight for our weekly energy readings for the week of the 8th of August until the 15th of August. It's from Thursday to Thursday, and uh, it is from the uh, the reading will be for the week of the 8th from tonight until the 15th of August. We are in the middle of August already. Wow, the time flies. Winter is nearly over. And actually, it's really good. This winter is quite warm, isn't it? Right, for uh, those who doesn't know um, what my reading is about, it is not a prediction about your future, about your relationships. It is the... Uh, reading about the tendency of the week tendency uh, energetic tendency of the week how your chakras work how your health um is um, going to be this week so uh your emotional health your physical health it's about your mental health and it's about your spiritual health as, as well because i'm working on five energy uh, five levels so we are going to find out the common tendency of for the week again just want to remind you that my readings uh, consisted of three parts. The first part is the cards with the um, chakras, this deck. And the second part is crystal pendulum, with the help of which I'm defining the tendency of the chakra in the chakra. And the third part is these cards with the advice. Okay, I'm using these cards in my healing. Um, in my healing processes and I'm using these cards here. So they're very, very useful. Right, okay, so the week of the 8th of August until the 15th of August. What is going to happen in our energy? What do we need to know about our energy and about our health? this week what do we need to know about this week about our health about the energy about our spirit about mental health emotional health oopsie this week is going to be a mess, a mess actually whoa all cards just jumped out a lot of them oh see that many cards but actually it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean that i will need to do the reading for all the cards they jumped out of the deck and it means that the energy is quite uh, strong and it's quite um messy this week so you we will need to be careful this is the message but what do we need to know precisely got the card here whoa look at this beauty we've got the jaws chakras jaws chakras well i'm broadcasting into places at the same time okay jaws. that's why i'm going to move from camera to camera and um so jaws chakras they are located right here see right in the center of the jaws joints here next to the ear and um, they are of um, yellowish and um, um, greenish and some bluish color so it's a mix of the colors um, and they are responsible for our communication, for, of course, for the health of our joints, of um, our mouth, of our throat and for the health of our ears. Actually, all chakras are interconnected in our body. They are also responsible for the free flow of the energy while we are communicating with others. Uh, for the um, 
uh, for, for the health of our dance, for our uh, health of our teeth, our tongue, and um, for flexibility um, in um, communication with others, with people. And um, they are responsible for our intimate connections with intimate relationship with people. Like, you know, we're kissing with our mouth and the jaws are really, um, so if they are blocked, uh, we are not going to um, to have a lot of good relationship, you know. So uh, I'm going to uh, find out what's um, happening in the jaws. I'm going to use my magic crystal pendulum. Okay, and um, I'm just receiving the info about the jaws as well. All right, what, what's happening? They are, uh, the chakras of the jaws, they are rotating clockwise and anti-clockwise in both directions. Uh, so it means that they are breathing in the energy, the fresh vital energy, and breathing out the energy which is already processed and no longer required in the body. However, they are not as strong as we would like them to be. Um, they are quite weak this uh, this week. <laughs> uh, so the um, the energy is not too strong here, and their movement, their rotation, is actually yeah, it's re it's really subtle. We don't receive enough of an enough energy, and it. Uh, Rotating both uh, in both directions, clockwise and anti-clockwise, it means that they are breathing in the fresh energy and breathing out. But since they are weak, it means that this uh, processed energy is still there in our jaws. And sometimes it might result in like jaws clicking, you know, you open your mouth or you um, chew something hard and you can hear all this clicking in, in the jaws. And this is energetic clicking it's not like something's wrong with your physical joints um it's 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 all right it's like overloading with the um energy which we don't need anymore right this is this is right and um uh these chakras are also responsible for the youth in our face so if they are overloaded with the negative energy and don't receive the um, uh, fresh vital energy uh, we we can see like you know sagging so the, the cheeks are sagging here and also we've got a lot of heavy energy right there in the lower part of the face and sometimes we might feel even um, on an emotional level the uh, lack of desire to communicate with someone lack of desire to do something so these chakras are extremely important for youth for communication for intimate relationships for for physical health as well of course for everything each chakra is extremely important for our body however we need to look after the jaw chakras this week right they are not too strong so we need to make them stronger um it doesn't mean that we need to work on our muscles like you know to overload our muscles with um, something heavy uh, but we still need to work on the energy and on the muscles here right we will see just in a second what exactly needs to be done for our jaws and their chakras okay what do we need to do to improve the energy circulation in our jaws and their chakras <laughs> look at that <laughs> see this is a beautiful card this is a very beautiful card see the lips and the jaws right here the eye it's very interesting so 
Um, I told you that the jaws are responsible for uh, the uh, health of our mouth and for our ears, but they are also responsible for our eyes as well. Um, so everything is so connected. So we need to remove the blocks in our jaws um, and we will need to use the electric violet energy. See this color? Electric violet energy is here. I would suggest to wear something like that to eat blueberries, to eat eggplants, and um, to eat something of blue or violet color. This will be very good for the energy as well, not only for the uh, for physical body, but also for the energetic level. And um, try to relax your jaws as uh, much as possible so you know how sometimes we are grinding our teeth especially uh, while we are sleeping especially when we're stressed when we are depressed we're just grinding our teeth and we're destroying not only the teeth but also the joints of our jaws and um, uh, the chakras the jaw chakras so we need to look after pay attention to how your um, what you do with your jaw how you um, hold it so it, is your mouth open or closed or you're grinding your teeth and you're just tense like that and you know it's very it's very important for this week if you have a habit of grinding your teeth during your sleep, it will be a very good thing for you to find like something like a silicon cup um, um, for your teeth to, to, uh, to put inside, to hold it um, throughout the night. So it will be very good because you know, this week, extremely important for this. And you know, your, your jaws have the tendency to destroy the energy um, you, you know, the energy can be destroyed during the sleep if you're grinding your teeth. And you might feel really tired in the morning, like like really tired and tense here. And even it can affect your, um, your shoulders and your cervical spine. So this is really important for us to be relaxed this week. I'm going to provide a very special healing meditation, active healing meditation for our Joes and Joe chakras this coming Saturday at 2 p.m. on my facebook.com slash forward anti-stress clinic. So I'll keep an eye on that. I'm going to help you guys and myself as well um, by providing this meditation so it's going to be an active meditation we are going to use some self um, massage techniques we are going to use some breathing some colors so get ready not to only sit back and relax but also do something and be really concentrated and be really present in the moment so we are going to heal away all these um, negative energies and we are going to restore the balance of our um, jaw chakras okay this is um, all for the week and um, uh, I, I just have mentioned before that the jaws are responsible for our sleep as well and I've got a very um, interesting news for those who are um, uh, suffering from insomnia by the way, Joe's chakras, they are responsible for our, uh, for the quality of our sleep. And if you are suffering from insomnia, this is, um, this might be coming from your energy, from your jaws as well. So the triggers might be there, really there. So we will need to dig them out. This is all for the week. And I just remind you that my week is weird from Thursday to Thursday, which means from today, the 8th of August until the uh, 15th of August, the next Thursday. Um, uh, for the next seven days, you need to watch what how you hold your jaws. You need to look after your muscles here and you need to uh, be aware of uh, how tense your jaw is all right so and relax 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 if you are suffering 
from insomnia if you want to improve your sleep, stress, and restore emotional balance. Um, on the 30th of August, on Friday at 2 p.m., I'm going to run a very special event, live webinar, which is called Sleep Well and Distress. So many people suffering from insomnia, and in many cases, the medicine or sleeping pills they are not working they are making it even worse and many people cannot get out of bed in the morning because they um, haven't had a good night's sleep it causes um, it causes tiredness and fatigue during the daytime you can't leave your children you can't look after them you don't have enough um, energy to go shopping or to go to a gym or to do your normal activities this is really frustrating and um, you might have even headaches so the triggers of insomnia can be either on the surface or um, deep inside however it is easier to remove them that than we might think so just think what impact on your health and insomnia has uh, and what will happen if you don't take care of it right now in my webinar you will discover the um, how I have overcome insomnia um, the, you will discover my secret of it and I will share important information about the triggers and how they affect your health and life. So of course I have some special gifts under my wing for those who will stick around until the end and um, um, I will post an event page created for this webinar where you can opt in um, by following a special link. Um, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the 30th of August. Look, keep an eye on my page. Um, I will post after this uh, broadcast, I will post the link onto the page so you will be a able to, um, to register. And this webinar is absolutely free. And I'm also reminding you that at 2 p.m. this coming Saturday, I'm going live on my facebook.com slash forward anti-stress clinic page with uh, an active healing meditation for our Joes and their chakras and we are going to cleanse them and to energize them and to do some exercises to bring more fresh energy to make them healthier and to make yourself healthier and younger smile by the way smile is very good for your jaws and um, uh, their chakras so when you smile you are strengthening the jaws and you're strengthening the energy of the jaws so you're strengthening your chakras so keep smiling protect yourself and have a lovely lovely evening all the best i see you i will see you on saturday at 2 p.m bye